G'day, good morning and welcome to my show. I'm Ian Apples and this is my last Friday night live for the year. I am um, just going to play some um, music from my son's YouTube channel while I set things up here, so please bear with me. Uh, this takes about a minute or two, it's something I have to do because I'm here on my own, okay? So I do need to do this. So what I'm going to do is put some links in the description below and so as they'll be there throughout the show and people can access them. Okay? They're not there now if you're watching now. Uh, once, once I've done it, I'll let you know and then you can refresh your page and then those links will be there if you want to access them in the live show, okay? Okay, that's that done. I'll go back to here. I need to just bring up the video now so as I can look at our chats and acknowledge everybody. We've got a lot to get through in this show. It's going to be fantastic. I'll turn the volume down. Bed Sawaz, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whether you are Bed Sawaz. I've got to miss the ads. I am there, look at that. Alright, I'm going to turn this down now. And um, just oh, what I'm going to do, copy, I'm just going to put this into my Facebook feed as well. Um, so thank you for bearing with me in these minutes, early minutes of the show. It's just something that needs to be done. Just about there. What else do I normally have to do? There's that. So many things you keep forgetting. Get, no, I'm a bit nervous this morning. It's like my last show. Um, I'm going to get through that in the, in the show and explain all that as well. I've got my coffee, got my water. Now, the lovely Ange Young, she sent through a few questions for me to get through this, um, this show. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll just explain everything first. G'day, Bruce Anderson. Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Linda H2O, g'day. Ange Young, good morning, Ange. Has been the year gone, has gone very quickly. Yes, Emo, Emoji Mugo, hello. Sharon Blankenship and Billy Esmond, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you all are around the world here. All right, so this is my last Q&A live show for 2019. And I'll be uh, not doing it over Christmas and the new year. I'll be coming back on the 10th, of January, which is a Friday, the 10th of January, that'll be my next live Q&A show, okay? So if you like, you can jot that down, but I will uh, promote that in days leading up to that show anyway on my art group page, as I normally do, all right? And the lovely Anne Young, one of the admins to my art group, has sent me some beautiful questions from herself and others, and there are a lot of questions that are asked a lot. And in this show, this is where we get the opportunity to to connect with each other. You ask me all your questions that you want and um, I acknowledge you where I can. I like to use it as an opportunity to promote my art that is for sale. All my tutorials are for sale. And why do they look so crooked? It's because they've got the camera a lot higher coming downwards, but not to worry, you can still see them. Um, yeah, so have your coffee, hit the thumbs up, and um, let's have a great show. Hello, Janice Burns. Uh, hi, my guru, Ian. Mine is low too, Ange. Uh, volume is low. Sorry, thank you for telling me. My mic wasn't bloody plugged in. See, I plugged everything in. Hopefully that's better. Sorry about that. How long did that go into it? Three minutes. Always something that'll go wrong. Uh, all right, let's first. Um, I like to acknowledge my patrons in my live shows that join my Patreon platform. Okay, so I just want to thank you. Say a big thank you to Gilda, Miss Sir, uh, Christy Tanner, and a Celeste. They joined my patrons platform and they're supporting my content. Uh, it's much appreciated, and thank you very much. Um, yeah, like I said, all my art tutorials are for sale, and at this moment, there's 74 US dollars, and that includes shipping and handling to your postal address, wherever country you are in the world. It gets you, it gets that painting there to you, all right. And um, 
Now there's links in the description below and we have links to, well there's obviously the PayPal link, that's, a, that's, that's either a donate link or it's a, a link where you can use to pay for your paintings if you are purchasing a painting. There's my Facebook page and uh, there's my Patreon's platform down there. There's my YouTube videos that are available on YouTube, just a link to show you all, it'll get you to all my YouTube videos. There's over 200 there, a lot of different subjects. Uh, there's Reese's music channel, check that out, great music to listen to. Uh, there is a link to show you what available art is for sale. There's a link to my art group page, Ianapolis Art Network. And there's a link to my bloopers, if you like to have a bit of a chuckle and see what goes on behind the scenes. There's a link to, there's about half a dozen in there, but do be mindful that they do contain mild, coarse language because it's where all the boo-boos happen. And there's also a link to my traceables that are relevant to all my tutorials that have reference pictures or traceables, okay? So check them out in the links below. Beb Sawad, thank you very much, my darling. Cyber hugs and kisses to you, Beb Sawad, Merry Christmas. She's just put in a uh, super chat donation there. Much appreciated, my boat, Bev. Uh, now this is a super chat, I'll just explain that as well. You've seen her donation come up there. There's a silver dollar sign there. That is for creators like myself that have the opportunity to enable super chat. And there are avid fans out there that do like to support their creators. And it gives you the opportunity to hit that and go, you know what, I love what you're doing. Here's something for you, Cobber. Thank you very much, and it is much appreciated. And bang, Merry Christmas, orange favourite colour, says Ange Young. Cyber hugs and kisses to you, my darling. And Sharon Blankenship, Merry Christmas, cyber hugs and kisses to you, my darling. They've just sent in some super chat donations as well. That's fantastic and much appreciated. I am getting closer and closer to the transition of slowly getting to full time in my YouTube art as a job because um, it's just I'm feeling the tools what I'm on when I'm working on the roofs and there, there's some go and slow movements and fast movements in that and it's getting to a slower stage and I'm, I'm going to slowly start to transition but when it does happen properly you'll know okay so thank you very much to Bev, Ange and Sharon for those super chat donations there. Uh, Chrissy present thank you very much Ange you're a very beautiful person love you so is uh, Bev and Sharon. Okay, let's get on to some questions. And remember, this is a platform where, this is the opportunity where you can ask me whatever you like. Um, where are we? It's been a while, how are you? Merry Christmas, it says Paul Wren. Uh, I'm very good, Paul, thank you for asking. Everything's great. Um, Linda, Merry Christmas, thank you very much. Lisa is happy to be seen. I'm a new subscriber and I'm learning so much from you. That's good to hear, Lisa. Uh, I'm 46, kids are grown, and it's my time to learn. That's good stuff, isn't it? You just realise once your kids have left the coop or flown the nest, your life starts all over again and there's so many opportunities to um, find yourself and get involved with new things and art is one of those things and I'm one person out there that can give you quite a happy and real journey, all right? Just remember that I'm not fake, I am real, and I'll tell it as it is in my tutorials as, as well. So it's good to hear, Lisa. Hello, Believe. Uh, Ann Chung, wow, congratulations, Ian. This is exciting to know of your transition to be full-time. Yes, it's getting there, it's getting there. So I'm feeling it. So hopefully it'll work out good. There there's a lovely Heaven Nicole. Good evening, morning, wherever you are, Heaven Nicole. I wish I was closer. I would be the best Christmas present ever to give you a hug. Thank you very much. You're so thoughtful. All the best to you, Ian, and the best of it all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, what's that? Oh, Brucey's Art Gallery. I love the ship on your left. Yes, it's... Uh, that's the latest one I painted yesterday. I said Merry Christmas in that, but there's some others that were painted in November, and they're due to come out before that, and that won't be out until way after Christmas. So what I might do is sneak that one in on Tuesday instead of, well, where are we? I'll keep, because I'm in a mirror there. 
These ones were due before that one, but I'm going to put that one in on Tuesday because of the Merry Christmas uh, greeting I said in that one, okay? So that'll get pushed in a bit forward. Um, and just remember, they are all for sale. They're great looking art pieces, something great you can have on your wall. And when you buy an art, one of my paintings, it comes with a personalised photograph of myself acknowledging you as the buyer as well, an autograph. And the paintings have a label on the back uh, just explaining done by me what tutorial it is and what the date was and if you later on down the track you want to look it up and see it being painted on youtube it gives you that opportunity as well eh? good stuff i reckon uh still having trouble hearing so go so i have to go merry christmas to you ian and all painting friends marilyn lynch is everyone else having trouble marilyn lynch is having trouble hearing me uh just shared the group thank you very much angela young I want that sunset on the top. I will get it next Saturday. Good stuff, Bev Sowers. Yes, they're all available. Just check the link in the description below. You might have seen me post up paintings throughout the week, but there's no tutorial following up yet. That's just me getting them into my Art For Sale album, because when I put them in there, they go onto my Facebook page, and lo and behold, people see them, and they do ask for a tutorial, but the tutorials are coming. Uh, Cracker Box Palace, cyber hugs and kisses to you, my beautiful darling. Thank you very much. She's just put in the super chat donation there. Um, was there another one from? Where's that one? There we go. Uh, where are we? I just turned the volume up. Says Linda H two O. Yes, volume is very low. Does anyone else's vol pro have problem with volume? Um, give yourself a time just to listen to me count to ten and hit the thumbs up. And I'll just ramble on a bit, two, three, four, five, till I get to the number ten so you can hear the volume. Seven, eight, nine, ten. How was that going? Is everything going okay there? I just noticed my sound is actually all the way up and it's probably my why I hear you. Okay. Happy holidays from Ephraim. Glad you can be here. Volume is good on TV, but on laptop, very low. Yeah, your laptops have a minus and plus button for the volume sometimes. You might have to hit that, I'm not sure. But I've got everything plugged in now, the way it normally is. I have my volume hooked up to the JB and it's still not the loudest. <laughs> Golly. Not the loudest. Hmm. The loudest. Hmm. No, mine's working fine. I don't know. It must be your Sharon Blankenship volume still low. Okay. I had some messages from Ange. One from Sharon Blankenship. A question for Ian. When using a good quality paint and you need to use white to lighten, can a cheaper white be used? Or how will that affect the paints? If you want to use a white to lighten your colours, always spoil the white throughout your painting so you got the pure white to flick on the top for those extra highlights. So let's just say you're doing a painting and, I don't know, you've got white in it and you, you're going over the blues or the reds or the greens. Just tint it that little bit with that colour to use it as that colour white. And then if you need to just highlight the corner of that again to make it really pop, then use the pure white. Um, the flowing white, the cheaper stuff, can be a bit translucent. Um, it might be okay with some brands, but some other brands might be just snot. All right, so do use a good quality paint, and you will get quality paintings from those good quality paints. Okay, now Ange wanted me to show everybody about the bullshit stick, my brushes I use, um, what paints I use, uh, flow white, uh, the retarder, the varnish, uh, and the cost of paintings and how to find them and my inspiration. So I'm going to go through that. Now the brushes, so if you're asking any questions they might get missed out along here. It's hard to say what is up with the volume, says Bruce. Well, this could be just a live 
live thing problem then because um, I just did a feedback on my live on my sound and it's fine, but it could be something to do with the live feed. Live feeds can do that as well, so we're just going to have to bear with it because I I know if I watch this back now my volume to me is going to be fine. Uh, it's me again, EMU. Affected by the recent fire? No, I wasn't, Heather. Thank you for the concern, but no, we've had a lot of bad fires here in Australia, and they're still going. Very quiet, Ian. You're much softer than normal, says Bruce. Okay. Well, I'm just checking everything. Everything is plugged in. G'day Brenda Lowen. Yes, it's only your live feed, says Libby, yes. Yeah, because if you're on your computer or something, just put this on mute, just mute this video and go to something and play something with sound, okay? And if it plays normal, well, it's just this live feed, okay? Just do that, everybody that's having any issue with their sound, just mute the sound on this video you're watching right now and then play something else on YouTube or something that has sound on your computer or your device and see if it's still low there you'll know it's not your device it's just this live feed okay so I'm gonna get on with these brushes so the brushes I use for blending they're these type of two inch brushes I even go a bit smaller for smaller clouds I mainly use these for blending the big colors in the skies and my clouds and they're just from the hardware store. You don't get these type from the art shop. You get more of a gesso type of brush which is really flat along the face of the surface there and I find these for blending the clouds the way I do and getting that turmoil. That turmoil is all this white movement with dark and brighter spots within it. That's how these brushes create that turmoil and I also use to apply the paint a good simple dirty cheap synthetic plastic brush but it's brilliant to get the paint on without using a little flatten going on all day I just love using this all right so they're the brushes I use still love you good on you Bruce Anderson yeah it's just the feed but I can't do nothing about that I'm sorry if I could I would but I can't so I will not uh, my name is Lisa too Lol, Lisa, happy to be seen. Uh, can hear, but like you are in a tunnel. Yeah, that's, that's that's crazy, isn't it? Okay, now uh, what else was there? Brushes, the paints I use. You know what? I didn't bring them in. I use Atelier acrylic paints and a Matisse paint. Uh, they're an artist quality paint. They uh, they've got good pigment in them. Um, I use them, you see me use them in my tutorials. Uh, I find they're great, I feel they're great, and they work wonderful for me. So they're the paints that I use. Now the Flow White, here we go. This was two bucks, three dollars actually. There you go. That's from a two dollar shop. That's the Flow White there. This is from the art shop. Okay, it's global. You can buy this online, look it up, global. Uh, that's the same consistency, color, it's just, and here it is again, but in a tub. Now I can show you this. This is, I call it flow white because it flows. Let's hope we don't spill any. It flows out of the tub. It flows out of the tube. It's like watery toothpaste. You've seen it in my videos, the way I've used it, okay, and how it looks. That's that's it, it's poster paint, craft paint. It's, nor, it's cheaper than the normal good quality stuff, okay? That's the white flow paint I use. Well, I call it a white flow. Um, but here's one here, it even says poster paint. Um, you can even get it from your Bunnings or your um, Home Depot store in the art section there. It's available everywhere if you look for it. Same with the pounces. Um, Lee says, happy to be seen. He's asking, I heard you can get sample paints from the hardware store because house paint is acrylic paint is this true yes house paint is acrylic paint but it can 
work different than art quality paint. You get little bits of it and just practice with it, okay? Because it will work differently. And if you can somehow make it work for yourself, thumbs up and good on you, okay? Uh, but don't go to the hardware store and get all different colours mixed up and hoping it's going to work like artist quality paint because it will not, all right? Uh, all right, now what was the next one? That was a float on the retarder I used. Now it is an extender. A lot of people in the States obviously call it an extender. Uh, when I first bought it, it was called retarder. That's the stuff I use and it even says on the bottle retarder. For those people who don't know what a retarder medium is, it's a it's a it's a product that slows down retards slows down the drying time of your acrylic paint hence it allows me to blend my skies like look at this one here how realistic you can get skies in there it allows me to do that soft and smooth with that retarder okay i only use it for my skies sometimes i might use it in the water section or other times i won't because that can be applied a lot quicker than the sky Janice Burns, hate to go, but my brother just got into town this morning. Okay, Janice, thanks for joining us. You go and visit your brother and say hello to him from me. Visiting for the next three weeks, that's going to be great for over Christmas, having your brother there. Uh, haven't seen him in four years. Happy holidays to everyone and Ian. Me later, A. Eh? Good stuff. You have a great Christmas, um, Janice Burns. Uh, so that's the retarder I use and that's why that's what it does okay it slows down the drying time uh, varnish now I go to the you can get this from your hardware store this one is actually it's it's an art quality one it's from the art shop here where I buy my art supplies from I'm using this this one is a gloss um, where are we does it say yeah it's gloss so that's what I varnish on my paintings. Um, when, there's, when someone's bought one, they get varnished up and they're sealed, ready to go, okay? Uh, what else did we have? The cost of my paintings, uh, they're 74 US dollars, and that includes all the shipping and handling to get it to your house, wherever you live in the world, all right? You can live anywhere. All you pay is $74, and it's done through PayPal. Now there are some links in the description below. There is a PayPal link there. That's where you make your payments or you send in your payment for your painting. And there is a link to see what paintings are available for sale. That's how you find them. Uh, how do you find the, the paintings Ange was asking to get out there to people? That's how you find them. Go in the links in the description below and you'll see one that says art for sale. Hit the link there and it'll bring you up to my album in my Facebook page and just show you what's available for sale. And there's quite a few there. And the recent ones are normally down the bottom of the list. So you've got to scroll right down to get to the recent ones, unfortunately. Uh, the bullshit stick. Here's the bullshit stick I made and I use. A lot of artists use things like this. It's just something to get a level on, something to lean on. Now, all it is is it's a... It's reasonably straight that way, all right? And because I paint on a board and my canvas is laying against the board, this is a T-square, that's what they call them in Australia. It's 90 degrees there, 90 degree angle there. That's a T-square, okay? And you can see how that bit of timber's screwed on there. And that's, as you see me use in my tutorials, that goes against my board. Now, you'll notice a screw in the end of it here. Where are you? Where are you? That screw keeps it off the board because the painting's in there. So it's keeping it off the painting. It's not laying on the painting. You know what I mean? So there's your painting on the board. This goes there and that screw hits the board and keeps this bullshit stick off the painting. If that screw wasn't there, you can easily hit your painting and sort of make a dog's breakfast out of everything, okay? You don't want to do that. So that's just my bullshit stick. And you can even, if you're on a doing a bigger job, you can either have it going from the top to get things up and down or going across, okay? Um, they probably have a good, this is a, it is a, um, a square, class as a square in the um, hardware terms. But I just call it a bullshit stick because it allows me to put it on there 
and rest my hand and get all those little bullshitty things done in the painting, okay? So that's, that's that. And you can make one of those yourself, they're quite easy. This actual timber is, you can see all the doweling holes, that was from a bed frame I got that from. Okay, um, Jolina Pinto wanted to ask, um, oh, paint, she wanted to ask um, if she's got canvas and if she paints on it, can she glue it to gar cardboard or to a surface? Normally, glue your canvas to the surface, to the board, whatever it is, before you paint it, then paint it, that's what I do. Uh, gluing it to cardboard might not be a good idea, depending on the cardboard you're using, it's going to warp. And then you'll be, I've even bought some cardboard type canvas panels in my earlier years and they really warp. So I wouldn't suggest it on cardboard, okay? I use a, my, my canvas panels um, lightweight foam alight. It's like a foam, compressed foam, about three mil thick. Um, and it's got a printable surface on both sides and that's what I glue my canvas sheet onto, okay? Um, so let's get back to some questions here now. Uh, where are we? I'm up to Libby T now. I bought a liquid varnish from the art store, but it's extremely thick and hard to spread. Any suggestions? Yes, you can go into the shed and get some uh, turps, mineral turpentine, okay? That'll act like a thinner to any enamel paint or any enamel uh, gloss uh, varnishes, okay? And then just thin it down with some of that. Give it a good mix. Uh, if you're going to varnish paintings, um, find the thin stuff if you're going to brush it on, or if you can't, do yourself a favour and get the spray can varnish because it's just so much easier, okay? Um, here we go, Anne Jung is saying, can you use electrical tape to mask, hang on, I'll, I'll, put, I'll show that, can you use electrical tape to mask it safe around kids? and screw the bullshit stick. Oh, hang on. Can you use electrician tape to make it safe around kids, around the screw? Absolutely, you can use anything. Um, I mean, that screw, you can see there, I'll get it a bit closer. Uh, you can wrap that up with something, or cover it with something to protect it, so if any kids are gonna hit it, Absolutely you can, because that's just keeping it off the actual board here when you're leaning it against your painting. It's just hovering it off the board. So you can, you can, you can do that absolutely. How do you all, says Lola Carter, good to A, Lala Carter, South Carolina, all the way from South Carolina. Billy Esmond, I had such fun doing your dolphin tutorial. Yes, I saw that one. I've put that on the um, cover photo. Uh, anyone in my art group page? Um, every week I go through the paintings that are posted on there and I just look for something that's striking and that grabs me in a way. I'm not looking for the best quality, I'm just looking for something that grabs me. And then every week I'll change the cover photo in my art group page with someone's painting. So long as it's one of my ones that they've done that. So I mean you're allowed to paint anything you want and post in my group. But for those who paint my tutorials or put in there, I look for those and then every week pop up the cover photo and change it, okay? I've learned a lot from you. Thank you, says Billy Esmond. Thank you for the feedback, Billy. I'll tell you what, I'm enjoying my coffee here. Have some more of that. Uh, I seal my paintings a la la carta with just spray varnish once I've done, okay? I paint them as you see in my tutorials and then they sit until they're sold um, or I know 100% sure they are finished and I just seal them with a gloss spray varnish out of the can. Uh, Lowell, you could use, what did I, did I answer something wrong, Ange? Could use, I said. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Yes, you could. You could put something soft like electrical tape around the screw, I thought you were asking. My mind goes 100 miles an hour and it's sometimes I read a question and I read it totally the opposite 
to what the poor person's asking. Here we go, we'll try one here. Yamaha, good morning Yamaha. How are you my love? Hello everyone, just got in from work. Hope you are all well tonight. Yes, Yamaha does watch from work, but she's just got home from work. Great stuff. Hello everyone. It says Ruby Westmoreland. Your hair, Yamaha, get a chookie. Oh, they got nicknames for each other. There you go. There's the Pint Pen. I don't know what Pint Pen means. Um, chicky. Uh, man. Oh, the Pint Man. There's the Pint Man. Or is that the Paint Man you mean? Chicky. N H Chicky. Welcome NH Chicky, I've never seen you here before, you're welcome. Uh, Bev Sowells, I have a big problem. I bought a huge canvas, very expensive, and now it has a tear in the right at one edge. Can this be fixed? Yes, it can be fixed. Uh, if it's on the very edge, if it's the stretched canvas, you have to unstaple it. This is what I would do. There's probably other guys out there who go, no, nah, no, nah, that's wrong, Ian, it's wrong. I don't care what you say. It's how I will do it. I'll unstaple it off the edge. Uh, I'll get a good quality masking tape and I'll press in there, put it back, and then I'll get some white gesso and paint in the crack there, just in the crack. Let it dry. And then if you're gonna gesso the whole canvas, then I'll gesso the whole lot. If it's in the middle of it, uh, you can get a bit of canvas and the adhesive glue and cut out a patch and glue on the back of it. But before you do that, spray it so it'll pull taunt, pull tight, and then you're virtually gluing a patch on the back. And then on the front, fill it in. If, you, if, there, if, there's, if the split is opened enough, it's a bit of mucking around with blades and stuff, but it's worth it. You can cut a little piece out and fill in the gap and then gesso prime it. It sort of acts like a bulb, fills in all the little gaps. And then when it's dry, gesso prime the whole lot. That's what I would do. Um, Got to go, Linda H2O. Okay, you have a good day. Happy Christmas to you. All is good, you make us laugh, and we all need a good laugh sometimes, says Ange Young. Yeah, we do, don't we? NH Chicky, it sounds like you're saying pint. Pint. Does it? Probably my um, uh, Aussie slang pint. Um, <laughs> what am I really saying that sounds like pint, chicky, NH chicky? What am I really saying though that sounds like pint? Is it paint or something else that I've been saying? Lola Carter, I'm going to try the boat for my best friend. Good stuff, that's what it's all about. And just Use it as a subject and make it your own if you want. It doesn't have to look the same. If you want it to look the same, that's great as well. There you go, Angela Young's just saying there. If you wrote your comment wrong, rewrite it to make sense for our guru, guys. Yeah, because I'm not the intelligent kid in the room, eh? Thank you. We'll give it a go. Bev Sowers uh, in America. In American, says Nikki. Uh, yes, it's your accent. Yes, it would be my accent there, Chicky. Lola Paint. Uh, Lola Carter saying it's paint. Sounds like paint. Uh, I painted a torn canvas, fixed it, turned out good, says Sharon Blankenship. Paint sounds like paint in American. Okay, yeah, we're gonna paint that. Didn't know that. I'll send you a picture in a few days, says Lola Carter, good stuff. Uh, what else did we have here? Oh, I've got some mail during the week. Every time I get mail, I like to acknowledge the people. I've had people send me stuff in the past. I've done them in previous shows, but this one was sitting in the letterbox the other day, and it is from, um, I've already opened it to make it easy on camera. Uh, it's from, that's in another envelope. Um, now it's handmade, beautiful stuff. I love getting stuff like this. It's from the beautiful Sharon Blankenship. She's made me a Christmas card. Okay, a snowman. Um, 
She's written on the back, Art by Sharon Blankenship. And look at that. She sent me a beautiful Christmas card, and it's handmade and painted by her. That is so beautiful. Just wanted to wish you the very best for Christmas and holiday season. Thank you for your teaching me how to paint snow, Sharon Blankenship. Oh, and she's got Sylvia the cat and Pumba the cat. Some cats have been. Thank you very much for that. It's so beautiful. She's painted a snowman. Um, if you ever do want to send me anything, people do ask me. My Facebook page has a messenger tab. You message me in there if you want to get anything through to me direct. If you want to. If you want my address to send me anything, uh, if you want to ask about certain paintings that are available or this, that or the other, you send me a message in Facebook, a private message, and things get sorted out there. So once again, thank you very much for that Christmas card, Sharon Blankenship, that's going to go with all my other fan mail and stuff there. Good stuff. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, says Gary Swank. Uh, nice cute snowman. I gesso my canvas and let it dry before I paint on it. Am I supposed to do this? Yes, you do. Yes. Unless you want your paints to bleed into that white gesso, it's totally up to you. And what you do with things like that, if you're not sure, like you've had this platform to ask that question and I've answered it for you, but things like that, if you're not sure, give it a go. Find a surface and halve it. Gesso one side and let it dry. Then gesso the other side and paint on that side before it dries and paint on the other side after it's dried and just see what you're getting out of it. And you might find things that are going to create some nice artistic flares for you and they're things you can adopt as well. All right, thank you, Ian. I'm glad you like it. Oh, I love it very much, Sharon. And it's not the only one you've sent me as well. There's another one there in the back catalogue that she's sent me with some other people as well. Okay, thank you to everyone. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, now, what else do we normally do in these Friday night lives? Um, golly, oh, once again, thank you to my patrons, Gilda Misser, Christy Tanner, and a Celeste. They've joined my Patreon platform. For those of you who do not know what Patreon is, it's a platform for creators like myself and others. Uh, it's there and it's a platform where people have the opportunity to subscribe and support that creator every month out of their nominated account. Um, there are no rewards. Some other bigger creators, they have the time and, and money and ability to give rewards to subscribers. I do not. It's just a platform there where if you like what I'm doing and want to pledge some money every month, whether it's a dollar, two dollars, whatever, that's the opportunity where you can become a patron and do that every month, okay? That's how that works for those of you who do not know. Okay, what have we got? Uh, 35 watching, 20 likes. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you share, wish to. Yes, we've got 20 likes there. Just. Don't be shy to hit the like button. It helps people out like me. The more likes, the more the the, the, the video will filter through. Where are we? I've got so many drinks here. I've got water, I've got coffee, I've got me um, brekkie juice. Lisa is happy to be seen. Friday Night Live, got it. Now I know where to be on Friday. It's good stuff. Well, like I said in the beginning of this show, um, 38 minutes. I like to go for about an hour. Sometimes it dribbles over an hour. And um, um, where was I? See, I've just lost my thought now. Where are we? Where are we going? It's moving too fast. Where'd she go? Yes, Friday Night Lives for Lisa. Happy to be seen. Um, I normally come on every Friday night, this time every week. Uh, because it's Christmas time, this is the last show for 2019. I'll be back in January the 10th, Friday, January the 10th, and I normally advertise it for 8 p.m. New York time. That way, if you wanna know, well, what time is that in my place, 
go to the world clocks on your device or on the Google internet and look up New York's time and compare it to your time and work out the time difference. This is how easy it is, it's bloody easy. And you can work out, okay, well when it's five o'clock here, it's eight o'clock there, or when it's this time there, it's this time here. You can work it out and work out when to catch my shows, okay? For Australian, I'd, I do put the Australian time there, but if you're in Europe or somewhere, it's not gonna make sense to you, so I just give New York time. For Australians, it's actually Saturday morning, and it's 9 a.m. my time, 10, 11 o'clock over, and sometimes 12 o'clock in the eastern state side of Australia, because I'm on the western side of Australia. So the times vary. Uh, and Chicky saying Merry Christmas to everybody, Merry Christmas to you. Nice, says Lola Carter, Cracker Box. If you want a varnish, you can f fix or add it any time. Yes, you can. Uh, Lola, if not varnished, that's it. Sorry, see, I read that wrong. Yeah, sometimes if your paintings are not varnished, you can always go back and fix them. I've varnished them and I've varnished them a bit too soon and I've wanted to go back and fix them up and it's so frustrating. So if they're sitting in your house for, for a while, don't be too eager to varnish them because if you feel you might want to go back to them, you can. Just varnish them when you know they're 100% finished and let's say someone's bought one and you've got to sell it off or it's going to hang in an exhibition or in a gallery somewhere, that's when you varnish it, all right? Uh, Bruce Anderson, can you bring up the... Oh, hang on, I'm trying to read. Um, can you bring up the claiming of work as you own when it's nor? been a bit of an issue. Uh, can you bring up the claiming of work as you own? You'll have to be a bit more, I'm not quite sure what you mean there, Bruce. Can I bring up the claiming of work as you own when it's nor? Uh, go to capital letters, Bruce, and rewrite it so as I can, I'm not sure what you're meaning there. Um, May I see the painting on your right under the ship, says Sharon Blankenship, under the ship. This one here. This one was inspired by Linda Douglas. She posted some photos on my art group page. A lot of things in there work for my channels. That's why I've done that one. It's a sailing yacht. Okay. Sorry I'm late, Barbara Mendes. You're welcome. You've still got another half an hour ago, or 20 minutes at least. He only does acrylic. Lola. Hi, Barb. Hi, Bruce and Ange. Take care of that today. I found a couple on... I found a couple on someone's page that I did. My name was taken... Oh! I found a couple on someone's... So you found a couple of someone's paintings that you did and your name was taking off. You got kicked out. I don't know what if it's a group you're talking about. Some groups have some weird and wonderful and crazy um, do's and don'ts in them. Um, maybe you did something that violated that. Uh, Libby, you have copyright statement in your work. Hang on, we might be getting on to it. If we paint one of your paintings, is it yours or ours? Can we sell our work? Yeah, that what that copyright is, that's to stop the little buggers. There's buggers out there that go on YouTube. They download the video file from YouTube and then they got their own channel and they're putting it up as their video. That's what it's saying. Do not du duplicate or copy this video file. The subject, the art matter, that's what the tutorial's all about. Of course you can paint it. Everything I paint, everything everyone else paints, you can learn to paint that, you can paint it, you can sign it, you can sell it. If they don't want you to do it, they shouldn't be putting it on the internet. Um, all my tutorials, you can paint them, okay? And if you want, you can sell them. And it's just good sense if you're posting it somewhere, you just say, I was inspired by Ian Harris, blah, blah, blah. That's all you do, but yes, that's just, I don't own the image, I just own the video. I've made that video, I've produced it, I edited it, it's my stuff. And there, there are 
buggers out there on YouTube, they'll upload a YouTube video onto their actual computer and then they're uploading it onto their YouTube channel and it virtually people that don't know are clicking on their videos and they think it's their video, but lo and behold, it's the actual somebody else's. It hasn't happened to me, touch wood. Uh, it has happened to other people. Uh, they've been pretty pissed off about it, and I can imagine they would be. I would be as well, because a lot of bloody work, time and effort goes into making a creditable tutorial. Uh, you've seen my tutorials, and if you think they're credible enough, which I think they do, that's a big piss off if they do that. Uh, if you don't like my videos, well, you you just don't need to watch them, it's that easy. But people steal them and upload them as their own. So that's what that main um, warning is about. Do not copy the video. It means the video file, okay? Someone, someone took his painting and removed his name. Yeah, well, that's not good. Um, I don't know why that happened. I don't think I'll ever have enough confidence to sell my stuff. I have a couple of boxes full. Yeah, even I have a couple of boxes for um, there, um, Lisa. But give it a go. Don't 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 be shy. Give it a go. It took me many many years. I thought I would never sell a painting. People ask, "Have you ever sold a painting?" I'm like, "No, that's never going to happen." But it does happen. Uh, a cracker box read it somewhere that it happened in a group. Uh, Ange and I handled the issue today. Anyone with issues, please bring them to the admin. We don't add stress to other members. We are here for you. There you go. Yamaha and myself are looking into this. Bruce, can you private message us, please? As for the admin to sort this out, cheers, says Ange Young. There you go. So obviously, Bruce, you've had something wrong in my group or a group. Uh, touch wood, yes, ha ha ha. Yeah, you gotta. When I scratch my head, I get splinters. Cracker box, thumbs up, folks. It says cracker box, give the thumbs up. Uh, yes, these videos are hard work, and nobody has the right to steal hard work. For one, I for one appreciate it. Yeah, because a few months ago, um, a Clive Fiver spoke to me on the phone. And he was explaining it to me. He's the one that brought it to my attention. Um, a lot of you are probably familiar with Clive. Uh, and he was telling me about it. And then he was telling me that how it's happened to other people. And him and those other people were going to look into it. But that's what was happening. And that's who brought it to my attention. And after that, that's when I put that um, notice online, okay? Uh, and, and also, what you can do, if you're following somebody, you're a subscriber, be familiar down the bottom of their video what their thumbnail looks like. Like mine is the one with my head tilted with the blue Ray-Ban um, aviator glasses on. Now, they can easily copy that as their picture as well. But then look for the name. Mine is Ianapolis. Now... They can easily use the name Ianapolis. They might sneak in a double I or a double O or a double P. They might double it up. Look for my name or someone else's you follow as well and work out exactly how it looks and how it's spelled. And if there's a channel out there that looks exactly like mine but it's got two S's or, you know, it's not exactly like mine, then you found that difference, you go and report them, okay? Because they're just absolute thieves that do that. How do you work out how much to sell your painting, says Steve Knight. Good question. I sell mine on an average anywhere from 45 to 50 cents a square inch, depending on the subject, the quality. You know, I've got some paintings that are absolute crap and I wouldn't even sell them or people might say, oh, no, 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 I will we'll buy it. Well, then I'll just make up a price out of my head. But in general, these are going from 45 to 50 cents a square inch. So you, you measure the square inch that way, and you measure it that way, and times those two numbers together, and then times that 0.45 or 0.50 cents, and you'll get an average price, okay? That's how I price mine. Hi, everyone. Good to see you all here tonight, says Carol Clippers. G'day, Carol Clippers. How are you? Big Chrissy kiss to you, my darling. Steve there. Cracker box. Steve. 
there are a lot of variables when it comes to your art. Factors like size, time, shipping. Yes, there are variables. Uh, mine's worked out for the shipping, the fees. Because let's just say someone wants to buy that there. They're all the same price. Different subjects tickle different people. But that price, that's allowing my shipping, my posting. Now, I post it in bubble wrap, protective cardboard, the cellophane tape, the plastic, the labels. There's all that. Then there's the fees at the post office that I pay. There's the fees when you send me money through PayPal or anybody. There's fees taken out there as well. And then depending who you're with, what banking company you're with, they take their fees out as well when certain things are put in or out. So there's fees left, right and centre. These are all of the things you've got to take into consideration. Uh, that's why mine used to be 69, they've gone up to 74, because their pricing's outside went up. And for me to match that, I've got to put that into my art sale prices to go along with inflation, okay? All good, Barbara. In the rules announcements, we have what you can do in the group, also who to turn to for help. Yes, and if you're not sure what to do in the group, you just ask one of the admins, can I do this or not? All right, I've got big coffee here, still nice, tall and full. Billy Esmond, Merry Christmas to all. Thank you for all you do, Ian. Uh, see you later on the group. I'm working on one of Chrissy's tutorials. I hope to post it soon. Good stuff, Billy Esmond. Sharon Blankenship. Where are Bernard Watson and Steve and Mary Lou? They're out and about. Don't know. I haven't seen them all morning. Oh, I saw Bernard this morning. He's been fed, so he's probably not going to come in and whinge for food. Uh, uh, morning. Uh, bye, Billy. Hello. Merry Christmas, Billy. Merry Christmas, Billy. Hello. Ezra, Ezra, hello Ezra Yildiz. G'day Ezra, welcome to my show. Hi Ian, when I click on the dollar sign below, it doesn't give me an option to send money, Barbara Mendez. Um, well, you've probably got to set it up. If you can't do it there, uh, I was on somebody else's live show and I've sent them, I've sent a few people some money and the first time you do it, you've got to link it with your debit card. Uh, if you have a PayPal account, the most easiest thing to do is hit the donate link under the description below. It's a PayPal link, actually. And it'll just take you straight through to your PayPal and you do it that way. Um, I don't know why it will not give you the option to send. Maybe you've done something wrong. Um, you've sent it before. All right, we'll just try refreshing your page and start again while we're still live. And just remember, if you're watching the replay, you cannot send Super Chat donations here. You can only do them via the YouTube donate link in the description below. The Super Chat donations only work through the live feed, which is a one-off show. Uh, Lisa, happy to be seen. I have to go. Hubby got home and need to make him a plate for dinner. Good stuff. Uh, thank you so much for answering my questions. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Ian and everyone else. Goodbye, good luck, and Happy New Year to you and your husband there. Lisa, want to be seen. Barbara Mendez, I've already s sent you from here. It's asking me to send a sticker. Well, I don't know, maybe that's optional. Try it. I'm not sure. Barbara Mendez. But there you go, you must have got it, because... We just got it coming up there, Barbara Mendes. Thank you very much for that. Cyber hugs and kisses to you, my sweet darling. Um, have a good night, Lisa. Everyone says good night to someone when they go. That's fine. Merry Christmas, Lisa. Uh, here's one from Bev Sowers. Have, you have to choose either the sticker with your message, then it goes to the money part. Uh, and if you ever have a good pair of sunglasses like I've got, um, Ian might like them because he reckons they look really cool on my head. Uh, but I'm going to keep them because they look better on me. They do look better on you, Lisa Sellers. You keep them. I'm just being a cheeky bugger. Uh, figured it out. Good stuff. We've all figured it out. Barbara, I oh know that's Sharon Blankenship. Barbara, you may have to watch a different device to donate. No, she's found it now. She's found it. She's found it. Merry Christmas to everybody, Justine, oh, Christine Justice. Hello, everyone. North Carolina here from America, USA. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, LOL, Ian, LOL, Ian. 
says um, Ian Young. Oh, yes, laughing out loud. But <laughs> yeah, every now and then I'll, I'll throw it. Okay. There. I'm, I'm mucking around with the computer where it's my camera that's doing it. And, yeah, I've fixed it, hopefully. Yes. Yay. Where were we up to? Maybe the cat unplugged it. No cats in here, Sharon. Debbie, it's all those... Cosmic rays coming in. Hello, Sharon. Yamaha. Well, the signal is dropping out. I'm headed out to play with my doggy. Good stuff there, Yamaha. Okay, yeah, we're back anyway. Uh, well, it could be the last of it, guys. Merry Christmas to all. We've lost Ian. No, I'm back. I'm back. I am back. Now you're back. Yes, Bev Sauer's got me back. Yes, I'm back. I'll just write it in there. I've got a what happened there? What the hell happened there? Straight. I'm back. Yes, you're back. Woohoo. Yes, I'm back. Uh, what happened there? Why is it bloody blurry? Playing silly buttons now. I better press play. There we go. Now, get that there. Make sure it's not on pause. There we go. Ian, I'm having a real problem with rocks, canyon style, with waterfalls close up. Is very. Is there a good tutorial of yours that can watch to get this better? I know what it means. Okay. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm thinking. Where's me? I've got to keep getting that ready, but I need to do. I'm just trying to think what I've got. I can't think off the top of my head there, um, Trina. All you can do is go to my videos there and scroll through the thumbnails and see what thumbnail has, because the thumbnails are of the actual painting, and see what one is going to help answer your question there. I've just got too many to think off the top of my head. I'm sorry. I wish I could. Struth, I know what that means, says uh, Yamaha. Struth means, yeah, bloody hell. Um, yeah, it's all heat and the fires clouding up the net space. No, thank you. All right, so where have we been up to? We've almost been an hour. So if we don't have any more questions... Um, I could start wrapping it up. I'll, I'll linger on a bit more and see if some more questions come through. Otherwise, I'll wrap this show up. And just remember, I'll be back next year on the 10th of January. This is the last Q&A live for the, for the 2019. And for some reason, I'm very uh, blurry there too. All right, well, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, thank you, everybody. Have a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful Happy New Year. Enjoy your time with your friends, friends and family and be safe. And until next year, I'll see you next year, all right? And just remember, if you like what I'm doing out here, you tell everybody. But if you do not, no, I said that wrong. <laughs> if you like what I'm doing, tell your friends. But if you don't like what I'm doing, you tell everybody, all right? All the best. Goodbye, good luck. And good on you. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Bloopers, yes. All right, it's time to say uru from the guru.